everyone, a very warm welcome to the special edition of Game On. Today we have a trailblazer in the studio who not only became the first Indian-born player to be drafted into the National Basketball Association in 2015, he then changed his path to join um, All Elite Wrestling in 2021, which was another first for an Indian. Now, standing at 7 feet 4 inches, Satnam Singh is uh, making his way into professional wrestling. He is, uh, you know, now hoping that he is going to be successful in that. Thank you so much, Satnam, for joining us here. Uh, I've got to start with this. Uh, out of all the annoying cliches about your height, is the most annoying one, how's the weather up there? Yeah, always. <laughs> Everyone is just, uh, whenever I go for an airport anywhere, so everyone's asking me, hey, how tall are you? How's the balance up there? I just told them, it's cold. You should have come over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I just make more joke, you know? Yeah. So the people are happy to, I, I'm re I really enjoy with that. Yeah. yeah the people make, I, I think it's the best way for me. Yeah, if anyone asks me like those questions, it's actually make me happy. Also people are also happy. Mm. You know, they have like smile on face. So that's the best. Okay. So let's start with the journey. Um, how did it start for you? When did you decide to join basketball? When did you start to think about it? So, uh, so it's like a 2004. Mm. So my dad's father, my dad's best friend, he carried to my dad. He, my dad is so tall also. He's also 7'4". Mm. And uh, he asked my dad, how tall is your son? He said, he's pretty tall than a uh, normal, normal kids, you know, mm. in high school. So then uh, they said, okay, let's, Tried in some sports, maybe in the basketball or maybe in the handball, something, you know. So then my dad talked to the guy, then he talked to someone in Ludhiana. So Mr. Teja Singh Dalibar and uh, Mr. Dr. Subramaniam. So they talk, to, they, they talk over there. So they say, okay, this is the best guy. We have, a, have to work on him. We have to work on, for, on our footwork, everything. So that's the best way I think I start my life. Mm. in 2004 and 2005 mm. in Ludhiana. Okay, so you started playing basketball and then what was the journey like from uh, uh, from your village in Punjab to Bradenton, Florida? Because you went there at 14 and it couldn't have been easy. It was really hard. It's really tough for me and also it's a lot is going on in my mind at that time. So first of all, when I start basketball, I just keep playing with India, you know. So I, I know everyone is lying with like a Hindi and Punjabi over here. So I can't talk to anyone over here. So when I, st when I moved to USA in 2010, so that time I don't speak English, like zero, nothing. And it's really hard to be understand. It's really hard to be talked with people. And then I told them, I said, hey guys, I, I know what's going on right now, but I need to talk with someone who can speak, speak Punjabi too. So he can tell the coach what I want from here. So that time, so I have one of the guy, he speak English and Punjabi. So he tell the coach, hey, coach, he wants the debut. So you have to show him what he want, to, what he have to do in the match. So he will be do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that way I start my actual real life. And so that way the, actually I got the properly basketball mm. experience, you know. Mm. Okay, and then take us back to uh, the day you were drafted into the NBA. What was that moment like? It's uh, that time, there's so many things going on at that time in my mind mm. because uh, my shoulder was so heavy at that time because 1.3 billion people behind me. I was thinking if I go draft in NBA, that would be the first big history of India, you know, that one in a billion mm. has become true. If it's not, don't worry, go back and keep working hard every day. But God always with us, you know. So when I saw one of the guys coming to me with uh, Dallas Mavericks hat, and he just gave me the hat and said, congrats to you. You're the one of the part of the NBA, first mm. ever Indian basketball player who drafted to NBA. Mm. So that moment is the, my best moment I ever ha I had in my life. Mm. And what was it like when you spoke to your parents? You know, you'd been working hard. You said it wasn't going to be easy because of how you had to adjust to uh, the lifestyle in the U.S. Finally, on that day when you were drafted in, yeah, uh, what I, was that conversation like with your parents? So it was really nice. My family, they called me and I told them, I said, Dad, mm -hmm. 
I made it, I did my job, and whatever you tell me from the first day to now, and you already told me, don't worry about the home, mm. just focus on, your, focus on your job, focus on your basketball, and we always here. So I told, them, I, I told my dad, I said, that one day I will be make you feel proud, mm. and I will make you proud always in India, mm. everywhere, everyone will love you more than me. Mm. Uh, he said, really? I said, yes. Then I told him, I said, Dad, today, that's the time. Yeah. So I finished, I did my job. Mm. Now I go work on that, make you more proud. Mm. Uh, I will be come to India. You will see a lot of media, a lot of people. The, everyone will come home to see huh. you. Huh. Um, unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be as successful a stint as you would have wanted. Now the shift to... Um, all Elite Wrestling. Tell us about that. How did you transition into wrestling from basketball? So it was, uh, I, I don't have in mind to be changed to uh -huh. from basketball to wrestling. So I got so many offers from WWE, mm -hmm. you know, then the AEW came, you know. So my cousin, Sonny Gill, he's my manager in, in the USA. Okay. So he was told me, he says, oh, no, look, it's a COVID scheme. No basketball games, no matches, no tournament, nothing. It's like a zero. And you are keep doing the gym, you're working so hard, and you doing COVID, and doing like a lockdown and everything. Mm. So he said, now it's time for you. I can see your body is getting bigger. Mm. And it's not anymore like a basketball. Your basketball, you need like more fast, you know? So I told him, I said, let's talk to mm. someone. Then he talked to AEW, mm. All Elite Wrestling. And uh, he said, okay, we already talked them. Just come to USA. I just fly, first fly is open. Mm. And the COVID, during COVID, I took that flight in January. I just been there and keep working every day. And I think it took me like at least three to four months mm. to get the sign, everything. Then I just changed it right away. I told him, I just called one guy, I just called my coach. I said, coach, sorry, I have to go. Yeah. I did my best, but now I have to change my life. Mm. And uh, that's about the transition, the hard work though, that has gone now into becoming a wrestler. Because you know, it's one thing that you have, uh, all wrestlers that we've seen in uh, pro wrestling, you have an on-screen persona, but there's a lot of physical hard work that goes into it. What was that like? So in wrestling, it's like a more, uh, like a, some, have you had to pick up a lot of people, you know, it's like a more strong, you need to get muscles strong, you know, you have to get like a strength, some, strong you know so it's a lot of work it's a lot of the muscle work you know mm -hmm. but i go say sometime you d whenever i throw someone i don't know it's maybe hurt or it's not hurt you know it's really hard for the other person mm -hmm. to take f from me because whenever i get to someone it's really hard yeah. because if i go to get the choke slam i'm already seven four <laughs> if i go pick up him more it's all like a 10 feet 12 feet mm -hmm. that he come from all the way down that's really hard for him. Mm. Uh, how would you describe yourself? Uh, you know, because I just refer to this on-screen persona, right? And that's important for a wrestler, right? You've got to uh, connect with the audiences. So how would you describe Satnam Singh? Uh, we, they always disguise us, you know? They always think bullshit stuff, anything, something like <laughs> bad, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we just listen, I was like, I don't care. I don't care about anything. Uh. Have fun, enjoy, be just saying like that. Mm. And we don't care. But end of the day, we go say, okay, cool down, just finish your job, have, go have a good match, mm. just go back. Mm. That's all. Because I'm heel guy. Mm. So heel is always bad. Mm. So baby is a good pace, you know? So I have to be work, I have to be, be nice with people. Yeah. If no one is nice to me, I, I'm okay with that. But I, don't, I can't be hurt someone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I was reading about this incident that happened with you, you know, and it reminded me of superheroes in the movies that we watched where as soon as the superheroes realize that they've got this power, they don't know how to control it, which is pretty similar to what happened with you and a friend of yours. Can you tell us about what really happened and what that taught you? <laughs> yeah, so it was in Tamil Nadu. Okay. I was a, I have a basketball scene in our national team, okay. so we went there. And... Uh, that time I was doing my stretching stuff, everything, and he was behind me. I, I was don't know anything, like zero, you know? And I was just like, doing my stretching and slapping myself, like uh, something doing. And when I move so fast, I don't see him on the behind me. I just slap on his face, and he's just in the floor. And then I called my friends, 
my teammate, I said, hey guys, something happened here, please come over, we have to figure it out. Then everyone come, they take him to the, like, you know, in the room, they put the water on him. I said, bro, sorry, but it wasn't my, not idea, but I was don't know anything, you know, behind me, mm. but he was passed out right mm. away. And that's when you realize that, yeah. you know what? <laughs> I, Done. I cannot. Stay away. And how much, how much was that strength? Because it's, it's, I was reading that that was 15%, 20% of what you really. Yeah, it is. If I go, uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like um, my power, I know is real. I have so much power in my body. If I want to slap someone, it'd be so hard to slap. I'm sure he'd be die. Mm. But I'm controlling myself. After that, I will I take off myself and say, son, now, ever, never. Never get anyone hurt like that. Don't hurt anyone. Never. Mm. Just stay away from that. If any, if you know he says something bad, he say, okay, but brother, thank you so much. Whatever you say, have fun, enjoy your movement. That's it. But I don't want to hurt anyone. Mm. You know. Okay. Uh, let's also talk about your uh, inspiration, your idols. First in basketball when you started, and then when you uh, turned pro in wrestling. Who were the people you looked up to? So my first ever like a role model in the NBA is a Kobe Bryant, but he's mm -hmm. not anymore with us. But he's the, my role model. And uh, he have the best teammate, Skin O'Neal, because he's a tall, he's a good guy. And so I, I watch him because he's the big guy, because he's like the same seven feet, you know? Mm -hmm. And also, if I go say, in India, he's a one of the, my Indian team captain, Mr. Jagdeep Singh Bans. Mm -hmm. So he's the one of the amazing basketball player in India yeah. at that time. So I would say he's the one role model in India for sure. Mm. And then when it comes to wrestling? Wrestling is a uh, big show. Yeah. Mark Henry, Undertaker, yeah. and number one, Rock. Mm, the Rock. Okay, let's also talk about uh, the comparisons to the great Kali. Inevitable, of course, because you know he uh, was uh, wrestling in WWE. He's a great wrestler. What is your take on it? How different or similar are you to the great Kali? Uh, I'm totally different than him. Mm. Totally different. He, uh, okay, I, I would say he's the best wrestler mm. his time. He make all history of India. I'm so happy, I'm so proud of him. But if I go say, if I want to compare to myself, I go compare it to my father. Mm. We are like, a, we are copy each other. And uh, if I, right now, Nobody is like me in mm. whole world. Mm. And nobody can, what I can do, nobody can do it. Mm. So I go say, I am comparing myself. Mm. I'm comparing for my dad, mm. that's all. But mm. great Kali, I very really respect for that person. And he make all Indian wrestlers so proud. A farmer there, and yeah. a lot of people, they say me, oh. oh, number two great Kali is coming. I say, yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So if I'm number two, I'll be fine, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But he make history of India in yeah. wrestling, so it's amazing. Yeah. I've got to ask you now, the goals for you from here on as a pro wrestler, what do you, what do you really want to achieve? Um, you know, you've been in India, you said, for now three weeks. What is it in terms of, um, you know, the love from Indian people? Is that what you want to get uh, as a wrestler? Do you want to win the world championship? What are you looking to achieve? So right now, I really want all Indian public or the fans to come together with uh, all the wrestling to go watch them mm. and make us proud, mm. you know. And otherwise, I gotta say, whenever we are come here in India for my team AEW, mm. I can't wait to be have a world championship international world championship hmm. and you want to win that i let's, won't ever let's talk about your camaraderie with your uh, faction with jeff jarrett karen jarrett and sonjay that jay Le uh, lethal Lethe. what is that like it's amazing they are like best teammates ever i had yeah. and if i do any mistake they always told me okay yeah. you not have to do this you have to like this mm. it's kind of like a family friend so they are amazing they are so good and also they are like, they know about wrestling. Mm. Like Jeff Jack, he do doing wrestling last 50 years. Yeah. Jay Lethal, he doing like last 20, 25 years, 30 years. Jay, uh, Sanjay, 
he was kid when he started wrestling, and he knew everything. Mm. And Kiran, she, she knew everything. His husband, mm. Jeff Jake. So they are all like, a, they know about wrestling a lot more than me. Mm. I just started wrestling at three years ago. I know, I know more than wrestling is basketball. You know, so they are teach me so many things during match, during practice, and during on the backstage. Mm. And during we if we have promo. Then they teach me so many things. Okay, we had to go say like this. We had to go like talk like this. So those, those help me is make me make me feel better. Mm. I can't help but notice your shoe size, <laughs> which is what I asked. <laughs> Satnam, what's your shoe size, Satnam? So my shoe size is twenty. Your shoe size is twenty, and you have to get them made, or do you find sho your shoe size? Uh, before it's really hard to find it, but mm -hmm. uh, Mark Henry he told me about the one shop. It's close to my home. It's like 20 minutes away from home. Okay. So I've been there, and when I saw that they have a size 20, mm. I told him, okay, how many shoes you have? He said, I have a, only five pair of shoes. I yeah. said, give me all that. <laughs> First <laughs> time ever I find like a dress shoe. Sorry, de do. Sorry, de do. Give me a give you banana. lena. Let's also talk about, you know, I mean, of course, the highs we've talked about, right? Um, NBA draft, now pro wrestling. There was a low period as well, which was dark, uh, which is when you, you're, you're trying everything, but somehow you're not finding your way through NBA. You're, you know, you're just not getting to play regularly. What was that like? And uh, how difficult was it? How did you get out of it? So, uh, like the first year, it was really good. I got so much time to play basketball in, uh, in the NBA. Second year is where like, I feel like uh, it's getting down in the second year. Uh, if I go say for the first year they gave me 100 percent, and the second year they gave me like only 75 percent, mm. but I was not happy with that. You know, then third year they gave me like maybe 20 percent. Mm. Then I was like, oh, what's going on? If I, but I'm not doing good work, and I'm, my coach told me, okay, you have to do extra practice. I did. Yeah. He said you have to do like this. I have to do that. Whatever he told me, I do everything. Then I, one day I asked him, I said, coach, do you have any problem with me? Please, can you tell me so I can fix that? So if I go, f if I have any problem, if I did any mistake, just tell me so I can fix that and so I can get improve myself, mm -hmm. so I can show to the public what I can do for my team. And he said, no, no, you go, you go, you go. I said, okay. Then I was like, son, now it's time to go. It's time to leave for in NBA. So that time I leave, then I come back here in, uh, in India, I got back injury on that time. It was really bad. L4, L5 is gone. So then it took me like at least one year to come back properly and play basketball. Then I played for India team two years. Yeah. Then I got another sponsor, uh, uh, sorry, contract signed with uh, NBL Canada League. Mm -hmm. So I did my one year. After when I saw that, it's like I can't find any more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Then I feel something dark in front of my eyes. Yeah. I was like, I said, now if you take one more step in the dark, then you don't, your all opportunity is be gone. Mm. Mm. So then I was like, okay, now it's time to be figure out yourself, find out who are you, and what you can do. Then uh, during, I told you before, during COVID side. So in the COVID time, I decide. Let's shift. Figure out, be safe to do the wrestling. Makes sense. Tell me one thing. Do your friends use you to intimidate others? Okay. Do they take you along saying, let's go to, that, go to that club and, you know, I need to, I need to show this another guy who I don't like, um, uh, how annoying he is and, you know, take you along? Sometime. Yeah? Sometime. Can you think of an incident where you've gone to intimidate anybody? Just by, just by uh, your sheer presence. I mean, you don't need to really... Say no, no, it's, a, it's a one time it happened um, in, uh, during basketball, huh. like uh, it was, uh, I think, 2008 or 2009, mm -hmm. this was in uh, Okay. so that time also I broke <laughs> by a leg, so he was there, okay, I got some problem with one guy, can you come with me? I said, bro. Huh. I can come. I know what's going on with you. I know the problem with that, but I'm not coming. He said, please come one time. Mm. I said, okay. I said, well, be one time. Mm. I go there. Mm. He have three people. He's the one. And I go there. They're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want, we don't want anything. 
So that time we, I was so tall that I was like almost like a six, ten, six, eleven, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why they say, okay, we'll go back. Mm. Okay, we're uh, we're being asked to wrap this show up quickly. Your uh, New Year resolution before we let you go. We're almost there. Yeah, um, I can't wait to be the staff for next year. You know. So I hope so. We are getting more good news for India mm -hmm. in 2024. Mm -hmm. So that's the best way we have to. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. You thank can you watch so AEW on Eurosport. You can watch Satnam uh, wrestle there. But thank you so much, Satnam, for taking the time out. Can I see your hands? See this? Sure. Wow. <laughs> That's a bucket of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. taking the time out, and we wish you all the very best for uh, your future uh, in AEW. Hope it's successful, it's fruitful. Thank you. Well, that's it on uh, the special. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, we loved talking to Satnam here, and we obviously already wished him all the very best. We're going to wrap this up. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. It was uh, my 14th birthday. On birthday, daughter waits. Oh, missing father. father. He was carrying a cake for his daughter. 49 year old Birmingham based Indian, Indian diplomat, diplomat vanishes. 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 He was grabbed and bundled into a car by four assailants. KLA claims responsibility. Demands Kashmiri separatists. Mahmoud Bhatt's release. Goli Maros. Goli Maros. Or Bang. And within three days, they shot him dead. Abducted diplomat. Found abducted diplomat. murdered in Leicestershire. I said, who ordered to kill him? To me, he said, I ordered it. And he never came home. Stop searching. Start streaming. Download the world's first news OTT. News 9 Plus, ahead of the curve.